Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on what I call the Collector Car Series. So uh, you say, well, a Collector Car Series, what's that, what's that actually mean? And well, I'll tell you exactly what that means, and I'm thankful that you asked that question. So the Collector Car Series is this. These are cars that maybe are a little different. We have a lot of great cars here. We've had thousands and thousands come through over the year. Most every car is really, really nice, but some cars are in a different category called a collector series. How do I get to that category? Let's talk about that for a second. Low production figures, right? Super low miles, right? Highly optioned, great color combination, low ownership. All of those things factor into making some cars work more than others, right? You can always find a car for less money, but you'll never complain when you buy a car that's the nicest car in the country, right? It's amazing. This car here is exactly what we're talking about. We're going to spend a few minutes walking around on this. We're going to talk about a couple things too about the body on the car. A lot of people don't know about these bodies of this car versus the standard S. We're going to talk about that as well. And we're going to look at paint quality. We're going to look at options. We're going to look at a lot of fun stuff. And by the time we're done this video, you might be calling and figuring a way to get it in your garage. All right, so I do like to talk about paint and I do like to talk about all the fun stuff of cars because if you could have the most exotic speed driven car ever, but if it's rusty and dinged and dented, it is not so attractive. In the case of this here, we got a little of the best of both worlds. All right, so on cars like this, the S models get red calipers, right? The standard models get black calipers and four wheel drive models that are not S or turbos get silver calipers. People don't know that. A lot of people do. Some people don't. Just wanted to give you that small tidbit. This is a C4S, meaning Carrera 4S, right? So it has a sport chassis. The sport chassis is the same chassis as the turbo, and it is a wider chassis, allowing them to put more wheel and tire in the back of the car. So if you were to look at this car sitting next to a standard Carrera, this car is almost two inches wider, right? Pretty cool feature. Um, when I look at cars also, I also, when I'm buying something, I look at the tires first. And I say, and you say, well, Tone, why would you look at the tires first? What does that even matter? Well, here's what it matters. If this is my baby and it needs tires, I'm going to put the best tire I can on that car, right? I'm not going to be putting on uh, a set of cheap, uh, maybe Chinese tires. Not that Chinese tires aren't good tires, they're just not good enough for my Porsche, right? Uh, because I'm not flipping the car. It's my baby and I want to. This has a nice set of Michelin pilots on it. Another good sign of that car. Lastly, under these harsh lights, I like to, to show this. You know, we can read this in there and we're going to do that, but I also say to you, look at the ceiling in here. You can see all the lights and the ducts and everything going on in here and then we have some visitors as well so check that out where you can read all those letters nice and crisp right this to me says that uh, we have uh, we have really really nice paint and this is a metallic blue paint as well so it's really really nice and uh, again I, I don't know why I ramble on about it it's just because the color combination is so great we haven't had one of these in a long time it's just you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say it one more time it's really really great <laughs> All right, so one of the things that people love about Porsche is really, in my opinion, and it's I-M-H-O, okay, in my humble opinion, is this is probably one of the only daily driver exotics. And you say, Tom, what does that actually mean when you say that? Well, I say that you could take this car to the track, right, and do really great laps in this car, and then you could drive it to work as well, and then that evening pick up your significant other and go out to dinner. That, to me, is a pretty cool car, all right? So, you want to go away for the weekend, right? And here we have uh, a lot of great stuff storage, okay? And uh, this also has in it the uh the wind uh, screen, sorry, I couldn't get that out of my mind. The wind screen, and we have lots of storage in here uh, for soft bags, CD changer if you still like that. Battery is easy to get to uh, right here, all right? And I look around and just uh, just super, super clean on everything in here. And we have full plates of animals, and I don't know what's going on, but anyway. It's a fun place here, dogs, cars, music, it's uh, our kind of place. Lastly, if you want to close the hood on a Porsche, here's the tip. Don't put your hands here because you put handprints all over your car. And to avoid that, you just push on the emblem and close it that way. All right, so back here we are seeing uh, a car that's a little wider. I opened the engine compartment. I'll close that in a second just so you can see it. But this is kind of cool when you think about it. And this is engineering. I like that. First off, this has a great sounding exhaust in it, right? We put the red S's on all of the S cars, kind of our signature on there. I think it looks really nice. Uh, it also has a third brake light in here and inside here because what happens is this is a motorized rear spoiler. This comes up a little over 70 miles an hour. It'll come up. It would block that. So Porsche put another one uh, on the leading edge of this. Kind of smart thinking, right? And then back here, right? 
The reason why I like to show some of this here is you really can't see a lot of engine, but in the S models, we're getting a 3.8 liter engine, right? Instead of the standard 3.6, we're getting some more power. And there's more growl as well. I want to point that out. It, is a, it sounds like it's only 0.2 liters, but quite honestly, it's a very different engine. The cleanliness is here is important because that means somebody's been detailing, they've been taking care of it, and they really, really like it. And then lastly, uh, I like to point out the original factory stickers are in here, the factory stampings are in here. Why is that important? Because if this car was rear-ended and they had to replace some of these parts, those stickers and those things wouldn't be there anymore. Those are good signs to be looking at. What kind of tires are on the car? Stickers in here. How many owners? You see what I mean where I'm going with the collector car thing? It just makes for a different, different car. And that looks nice. All right, so you walk up to this car and you go, wow, that is a great looking car. That's my car, right? It's really super fabulous. But your spot, your time is going to be spent inside here. You're going to be enjoying some of the accoutrements, right, that you might get in a Porsche. What do I get in a Porsche? You get that. But you also get some safety stuff, too, and I want to talk about that. I'm going to point that out for you right now. So over here we have... This part of the convertible top is hard, and the reason it's hard is to A, complete this here so you don't get the buffeting in the sound. Also, it sits up here, and you don't get that buffeting, and, and you get some wind resistance, and you get some safety. Secondly, these are roll bars built into a here. They, If the car was to tilt, it's got yaw sensors and things like that. If the car was to tilt either way, these pop up. These right here, in case the car tilted and everything was okay, there's a little crank in here, and you can put those right back down. Secondly, it's a four-seater. People can actually sit back here. And if you want, you can turn it into a package shelf for another set of luggage, right? A lot of people do that. This here has the contrasting stitching, so it's got silver stitching on the gray leather. And I do this because uh, I want you to see some of the things here. Watch out, Miss Deli. All right, thank you. These guys ride with me everywhere, so uh, they're probably going to want to get in here and just to show you that they fit. But the reason I did this is I slid the seat back because I'm 6'1", and I can barely reach uh, the, the pedals, okay? And uh, that gives you an idea for people who are 6'3", 4". We sell these to people who are tall because the Porsche really does fit them where other sports cars just don't. All right, we're living in a real-world exotic sports car daily driver thing with a 200-mile-an-hour speedometer, right? This is not your family sedan. 8,000 RPM TAC. But real world stuff, like I need to slide the seat forward. I need to slide the seat forward. Okay, so that I can actually reach the pedals. Climate control, heated seats, uh, you know, like real storage, right? This has a battery tender built in. This is where you would have cup holders. Sorry. <laughs> right? You got those, which is nice. Have your little Starbucks on your way to... Uh, on your way to Cars and Coffee, or the track for that matter. Anyway, I know a lot about this car. It's good friends of mine, super well taken care of. They've had it for seven or eight years, and uh, I think they put 1,500 miles on it in that amount of time. They never drove it, definitely not in the winter, and definitely not in bad weather. So again, back to one of those collector style cars. It's just really, really nice. All right, so to close up this video, I wanted to run down some of the stuff that we talked about, especially when we're talking about collector car uh, series cars, right? Great color combination. I think we all agree. I don't think you'd watch this video to the end if you're like, oh, that color makes me ill. Throw in great looking wheels and tires, a convertible, six-speed manual, which is, which is uh, going to the wayside already. This is a collector car. Super low miles. This car has 19,000 miles on it. We're doing this video in 2023, right? That is low, low, low miles, right? Throw in all the options, wide body, all of the sounds, everything. It just makes total sense to, to find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 911 Carrera Cabriolet C4S, right? And uh, we'll figure out how to, how to make that happen for you. Anyway, uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below here. That helps us get the message out. I really appreciate that. Maybe share it with your friends. Uh, they might like some of this too. And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one.